Welcome to a new series. Can I zero waste shop at this grocery store? Hello everyone, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all sorts of things zero waste, focusing on free, easy, and fun ways to live low waste. In this series, I'm trying to see how accessible zero waste grocery shopping is if you don't have access to a bulk store. This series is inspired by Shell Bizzle. She has definitely done this. She did this several years ago. I don't know if she still does it. And I was like, that's a really cool idea. I wanna do it for my local grocery stores as well. And I haven't done it until now. <laughs> I'm going to be doing it a little differently. So what I'm going to be doing is essentially just filming what I see on my phone while I'm in there. I'm not going to actually vlog for a couple couple reasons. One, the grocery store here is so busy and loud. So I don't think it would be very good quality anyway. Two, I hate vlogging in public. And three, I get so overwhelmed at the grocery store. I gotta get in and I gotta get out. I can't vlog. So I take a couple snippets and we're gonna talk about them here. First up is Meyer. This is a Midwest brand. I don't think it's really anywhere outside the Midwest. It is the closest you can get to a big grocery store that's still family owned. They're not, it's not a giant corporation, but it's still a corporation and it's not like, it's not like that sustainable, not that ethical, but it's the closest you can get. I think the most fun part about this series too is that Dan and I move all over the United States. So we're going to be able to try out a bunch of different grocery store chains and brands. So leave your recommendations down below. Right now we're in Ohio. I can probably do one more Ohio brand before we leave. So like Kroger, but hopefully we're heading back out West. We have no idea where we're gonna be living yet. So leave your recommendations all over the United States down below. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. First step for me when it comes to grocery shopping is we plan out our meals. Dan and I, Dan picks a meal, I pick a meal. We plan out the ingredients and that's exactly what we buy. This is also different from Shelby's video because she would like go to their grocery store with the intent of buying purely zero waste ingredients and then using that to create a meal, which I didn't really wanna do that. I wanted to just go in with a plan. And then if I could find it zero waste, cool. If I couldn't find it zero waste, cool, I guess. I thought it was more accessible that way because that's how I plan my grocery trips every single week. And I'm sure that's how you guys plan grocery trips too. I'm not sure people are actually going into the grocery store seeking out perfectly zero waste options. Instead, I'm going to buy what I need and try to find it as sustainable as possible. First, when you walk into this mire is produce. Let's talk about produce. For the most part, they had a lot of options plastic free package free in general. They had options for apples package free. They had options for peppers, green beans, asparagus, and then a lot of like leafy greens, lettuce, kale, herbs, green onions, that sort of stuff. They did have a few things that I could not get plastic free, which was cauliflower and broccoli. I found that one really, really weird because like, usually that's always package free. I'm not sure why it was wrapped in so much plastic. So that was unfortunate because we really, really like broccoli and cauliflower and it really is sucks that we couldn't get it plastic free at Meyer. Of course, this one's pretty typical, berries. We cannot get berries plastic free. So we just gotta do what we gotta do. I'm not about to give up fruit for the sake of the planet when I only use like one or two clamshells per week and clamshells are recycled instead of getting berries in like a bag, for example. My health is still important. Something else weird, I don't think I have seen at this Meyer package-free potatoes. Like you have to buy a bag of potatoes. You can't buy any loose ones. Carrots we found package-free, which is cool because we like really like getting carrots, but we don't need a five pound bag of carrots. We just need like three carrots. <laughs> because, and maybe I should do Aldi next. Aldi makes me so mad. First off, all of their produce is packaged and it's packaged in like bulk amounts. So it's really great for families. But when Dan and I go to Aldi and I need one jalapeno, my only option at Aldi is to buy a bag of jalapeno. We did not have that problem at Meyer. Meyer, you could buy pretty much exactly what you needed. And they did have a couple bulk options as well. Moving on to their little like vegan section. <laughs> this is where you could get like vegan meats, vegan cheeses and tofu. Every single one of these options has some sort of plastic. Most of it not recyclable at we typically try to, when we get, go to this section, typically just buy like tofu because it's the most recyclable. It's also the cheapest. We're really big fans of cheap. Dan is making a lasagna this week and he really wanted to go big with the vegan sausage and vegan beef. When we make lasagna for ourselves, we just do like lentils and mushrooms because they're less wasteful and I prefer eating whole foods anyways, but we're making this lasagna for my family and they're really big fans of this fake meat. So we bought it as a little treat. But like this is also no fault to Meyer. You can't get plastic free, unpackaged vegan meats and cheeses, any meat and cheeses anywhere. It's always gonna come in plastic. From here, we went, I think over to like the dairy section, we needed some butter and milk. And this week, actually because of this video, I was inspired to try a different brand of milk. I have been using silk oat milk because the texture is great, the flavor is great, but I've decided to switch back to my one of my favorite brands, Ripple, because it comes in a plastic bottle. Why is this eco-friendly? That's because in my area, Tetra Pak slash carton board is not accepted for recycling, meaning I have to send it to the landfill. Meanwhile, plastic is accepted for recycling, so I can recycle this Ripple plastic bottle. So I chose that instead. And they had different options for this as well. They had like orange juice in bottles versus orange juice in cartons, other sorts of stuff like that. So I guess that's just one zero waste tip. If you're looking for 
Um, recycling does count as zero waste. If you're looking for zero waste liquids, choose the plastic bottle over the paper carton because it's not paper. It is a paper plastic aluminum combo, rendering it very, very difficult to recycle. So many, so many brands are like, oh yeah, Tetra Pak, carton board, it's recyclable. I'm like, yes, it is recyclable, but is it accepted? Rarely. Keep that in mind. If carton board is not accepted where you live, opt for plastic instead. Moving on to the aisles. The aisles have plenty of options for zero waste needs from canned beans, canned vegetables, and then taking a look at like spices and pasta, for example. When it comes to spices, we were trying to find the glass bottles if possible. If not, we were opting for plastic bottles over like packets of spices that are not recyclable. This is kind of my order. When I'm zero waste shopping, I opt for package free, packaged in something like metal or cardboard, packaged in plastic, and then packaged in thin plastics, like recyclable plastic and then thin plastics. Thin plastics, generally not accepted for recycling, very difficult to recycle, so I avoid them whenever I can. And then same with pasta, instead of buying like a bag of pasta, we would buy a box of pasta. So overall, I'm decently impressed with Meyer, but like not that impressed, and maybe I should come up with like a rating scale. Their produce, pretty good. Let's give their produce section like a 3.5 out of five because there was plenty of package free options for most of their stuff. But since I still can't find potatoes, broccoli and cauliflower package free, like very, very common package free items, I have to knock them down a bit because that's really, really upsetting. For the rest of their stuff, I mean, it's pretty much a selection you're gonna see at any grocery store. It's not perfect, but it's also not bad. I'm gonna give it like a four out of five because most of the stuff that we found in the aisles was very easy to find something like a box or a can versus a plastic bag or even glass or plastic bottles instead of a plastic a thin plastic time for the grand reveal let's get home and see what all we got i divided them into different groups so we have a group of really non-recyclable materials such as our ground beef our ground sausage and stuff like that we've got some other recyclable materials such as glass and paper and plastic and then we have our package free stuff and as you can see the package free stuff was the least amount which is very very interesting i'll try to find a couple snippets of my old like grocery shopping videos me going to sprouts and our local air force base grocery store when we were in washington i felt like those two we could find so much more package free and perhaps it was just we didn't buy a ton of produce this week that i went for this video so it could be that as well but like i said we eat a lot of broccoli and cauliflower and because we can't find that package free that really does put a damper on this whole experiment overall like looking at our total that we got here we did not get a ton of stuff, zero waste. Zero waste being no packaging or recyclable packaging. Maybe 50-50, maybe 70-30. Like there was a lot of stuff that we bought this week in non-recyclable packaging. Again, we did buy a lot of meat and cheese for the lasagna. So we could have just not had a lasagna, but one lasagna is not gonna kill the planet. But still choosing a vegan lasagna over a meat and dairy-based lasagna is better for the planet, even if it does still contain packaging, because guess what? The dairy cheese is still gonna come in plastic, the regular beef is still gonna come in plastic. A, a little bit less harmful for the planet being vegan. Yeah, just the fact that some of their vegetables, your only, your only option is to buy them in non-recyclable packaging is really upsetting. And now for affordability. I am gonna include this in, the, in this series. Affordability, this week, was it $107? Here's, here's the clip I took. I just thought that was absolutely bonkers. That amount of money for this amount of stuff. Of course, you know, we did buy a bunch of vegan swaps, vegan meat and cheese. One more rating that we're going to be doing for this series is wastefulness as a brand. And I think I'll give Meyer a 3.5 out of 5. That might be a little high, 3.25 out of 5. For a couple reasons. One, good things that they do. They allow me to bring my own reusable bags, no questions asked. Two, they are still family owned. It is still a big corporation, but it's still family owned. And that's something that's become really important to Dan and I is trying to find family owned businesses to support instead of, you know, big old corporations like Kroger. I hate Kroger. But bad things that, that they do is it's, it's very Walmart-esque. If you've never been, it's very much like Walmart in that there's, there's food, there's toys, there's clothes, there's office supplies, there's TVs, there's your medical stuff. And I just simply don't understand how a business can be eco-friendly when it's, I don't know. It just, you walk into this place and you're like, wow, this is wasteful. Like that's just the vibe. Something else that they do is just like with Walmart, they have like these big aisles that take you to the self-checkout. So many gimmicky things, so many different food and snack items to try. So marketing tactic there. So yeah, like as a whole, I will gladly support Meyer over Kroger, for example, any day of the week. Even though Meyer is a smaller family owned company, they're still not great for the environment. Um, of course, nobody is perfect, but 
I think there are several different things that Meyer could be doing to be better. That's my review of Meyer. Can you zero waste shop at Meyer? I think had we chosen different meals, we could have we could have cut down some some waste. And you know, moving forward, knowing that broccoli and cauliflower only come in thin plastic, we can find other produce things to eat and avoid that. But I don't think I should give up every single thing that I enjoy for the planet. If I want to have a head of broccoli for one piece of plastic, I'm going to have the broccoli. 3.5 plus four plus 3.25 and then price i don't really know if that's a good price like it's wild to me that we only got this many items right here for 107 dollars. like that is bonkers to me it seems a little expensive so i think i'm going to give them a 3.5 out of five because i i don't think you can get much cheaper like that's the thing like it's wild that this stuff this amount of stuff costs this much but i think that's probably about the same everywhere else especially if you're considering things like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, they're even more expensive. So 3.5, I'm going to give them 3.5 for price. So that is a 14.25 out of 20, which is a 71%. They get a C. I like that rating scale. So that's my review of Meyer. Again, can you zero waste shop there? Not perfectly, unless you're specifically avoiding all of this thin plastic stuff, which you can. I think you can build a perfectly zero waste meal out of Meyer. If you did something like chickpeas, spaghetti sauce, and spaghetti noodles, that would be absolutely perfectly zero waste with all things recyclable. And then you could choose like package free herbs, package free vegetables to have on the side. For like a breakfast option, you could do oats and fruit. There are options to be perfectly zero waste at Meijer, but you really would have to pick and choose. You would have to avoid some stuff that you might normally buy like berries, broccoli, cauliflower, potatoes, even like lentils in a bag if you're a milk or juice drinker. But at the end of the day, in theory, you can zero waste shop at Meijer, but I don't think it's the most accessible to zero waste shop at Meijer. If you like this series, let me know. I would love to continue it with more grocery stores throughout the United States. Let me know what I should try next. Again, I'm in Ohio for the next couple months. And then after that, I don't know where we're gonna be. But yeah, I kind of like this. And if you want me to actually like vlog vlog, let me know. I'm sure I could find a way to do it. This was definitely the easiest format for me to film and hopefully it was still entertaining for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this new style of video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did or didn't down below because that's important too. If you don't like this series, let me know and I'll just stop. But I'll see you in the next video. Until then though, remember that your small actions make a big difference in the long run. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye guys. I don't think I normally do two hands. Bye guys. Yeah, it's just one, whatever. Two hands this time. <laughs>